Hey guys, it's Dan here from Commit. I'm here today with three tips and tricks that I like to share with coaches as they're writing sets and commit. Um, the first thing is a question we get a lot of times is like, how do I add rest between sets so that my running calculation of my total practice time is accurate? Um, and the answer is, so you had a set 10 100s on the 130 and you knew that before the next set you need five minutes to explain the main set. So you say five minutes um, break to explain set. Now you'll notice that our total time for our workout has gone up to 20 minutes over here on the right hand side um, underneath distance and sprint and over here the set is only taking 15 minutes 10 100s at the 130 so the five minute break has been added. Um, now, another cool trick that a lot of people don't know about in commit is that you can categorize sets together using uh, indentations. So if you type warm up, enter 100, 200, 300, um, we would never do this. This doesn't make any sense, but just to give the idea of hit backspace and now we're back for the main set. And so if I want to see like, oh, what's this entire warm up? Uh, what's the total distance time etc on it I can put my cursor on warm-up and it's going to calculate everything underneath it so if you have like a bunch of little sets that actually make up one larger set you want to categorize them as such so for your understanding of the workout and for the kids understanding of the workout um, this is a great way to do it another cool thing is that you'll notice our default intensity is endurance one if we wanted to change that to EN2 for this entire warm-up we could by simply putting that in the header description. Um, so by default, it's gonna take the EN2 and use it to describe or um, assign that intensity level to everything underneath of it. So this uh, is another another neat trick. Um, the last thing I wanna share with you today is, and we can just go back up to our 10 100s and the 130, is a lot of coaches like to write descriptions with their sets, right? So imagine that the key here is strong kick off walls right strong kick off walls oh what happened commit now interprets the 10 100s as kick that's not what we meant right we know that commits not that smart yet it doesn't understand that the kick here isn't describing the 10 100s it doesn't know that we, we don't mean to to incorporate that into the set so what can we do well, we want to keep the words there because it's really important when we're communicating with our assistant coaches and when we're writing the set on the on the board, whatever we need it there. But if we use brackets, start and end brackets, what that does is anything inside those brackets commit ignores entirely with the algorithm, the parser that's under the hood. And so we're back to a thousand meters or a thousand yards of swimming. That's it. Those are the three tips and tricks of the day. One, how to create rest between sets. Two, how to use headers to describe a group of sets, um, see the calculations as a group, or even assign intensity levels or types or swimming or polling, et cetera, to the um, underlying sets. And the third thing was how to tell commit to ignore words that are getting in the way of the calculations. All right, thanks guys, have a good one.